Hi guys, welcome back to Cacfly videos. We're back with again everyday integral. In this video, we're going to be finding solution to the given uh, indefinite integral. At first, when you look at this indefinite integral, it looks pretty intimidating, but actually it's not because if we do one u substitution, we're going to reduce it into the integral where we can use partial fraction. Okay, so basically, if I set u equal to sine x. And differentiate we get du equals cosine x dx then my integral is going to become du over u squared minus 5u plus x let me rewrite it it's going to be minus so du over u squared minus 5u minus 6 so using a partial fraction, I can rewrite this, def this indefinite integral like this, du over u minus u minus 6 times u plus 1. Let's go one step further. That's going to be equal to a1 over u minus 6 plus a2 over u plus 1 d. So now we need to figure out what is a1 value, what is a2 value, okay? So basically, 0 times uh, u plus 1 is equal to a1 over u minus 6 plus a2 over u plus 1. So now we need to, uh, you know, you can uh, use the greatest common factor to simplify the expression or you can do the cross multiplication. So I choose, I'd rather choose doing the cross multiplication. So basically, 0 times u plus 1 is going to be equal to a1u plus a1. Okay, let me move this over here. And a2u minus 6a2. So now let's combine the u terms together. So u parentheses a1 plus a2. And plus a1 minus 6a2. So we know that a1 plus a2 is going to be equal to 0 because there's no u term. And a1 minus 6a2 is going to be equal to 1. Okay. So basically from here, from here, a2 is going to be equal to negative a1. And if you put it into the second equation and solve it, we're going to end up with this. Uh, a1 plus 6a1 is equal to 1. So if you solve this equation for a1, you're going to get 1 over 7. For a2, you're going to get negative 1 over 7. Okay, so we got, we found uh, a1 value and a2 value. So let's go back to the original integral, but before that. So let me put a1 is 1 over 7. a2 is negative 1 over 7. And let me clean up this part really quick. So that's going to be equal to uh, 1 over 7 over u minus 6. Okay, actually, this is going to be minus. Actually, let's put negative 1 over 7 over u plus 1 d. Then finding the integral of these two expressions are a lot easier than before. So basically, it's going to be equal to 1 over 7 natural log u minus 6 minus 1 over 7 natural log u plus 1 plus c. So now it's time to change u with uh, sine x because remember that we set sine x equal to u so 1 over 7 times natural log sine x minus 6 minus 1 over 7 times uh, sine x plus 1 plus c. That's going to be our final answer. Okay. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. See you in the next video. Bye bye.